how can organizations like Reket contribute to a cleaner environment in Pakistan that leads to tourism? One part of it is very well covered, which is uh, how to market Pakistan. But while, while we're marketing, Pakistan is extremely important that when these tourists start flowing in and the little bit of ones who are here already, we need to make them feel comfortable around here. What does comfort mean? It basically means hygiene. It basically means uh, safety, security, as we've talked about earlier. It means having access to the kind of products that they're familiar with. So global brands being in Pakistan already gives them a lot of comfort and, and cleanliness, uh, which is extremely important. So today, we, we know the state that we're in, and I think um, there, there are opportunities for corporates to start picking up on some of the things to help the government in driving much harder. So the government has launched a program called Green Green Pakistan. Uh, today we're celebrating a plant for Islamabad, and there's going to be a lot of uh, plantation happening, and the, the process continues. And But it's not just about plantation. There's some more basic stuff that we need to do. Uh, some of it is infrastructure work, government contracts in terms of waste uh, disposal uh, that the government is working on. On the other side, companies like us, which specialize in marketing and changing consumer behavior or people's behavior, we can utilize our strengths in terms of getting the right insights and start changing the people's behavior. We're talking about 220 million people. So if the, even if the government decides and puts in billions of rupees to clean the country up, within three days, it's going to be back to where it was. Very nice. So it's extremely important to make sure that we take everybody along Make sure every person in Pakistan takes the onus, takes the responsibility, and that's that's the mission that we are on. And we have partnered with the government uh, on three legs. One is littering and safe disposal, for which we're actually doing a very extensive programs with the kids, because we believe kids are the biggest agents of change. And while they're not directly linked with tourism, they will, over a period of time, will have a huge impact on how many people would want to come into Pakistan and would be comfortable here. The second piece that we're working on uh, is, is uh, basic hygiene, so just to create awareness about hygiene, making sure that there's enough spaces where people can actually wash their hands. And one thing that's important is that we normally don't like to talk about which is basically safe toileting and sanitation. It's a big effect, especially in the touristy areas, and that is fundamentally one thing that we need to get in place and and again we're working with the government to make sure that first there are toilets and then once the toilets are there they're basically maintained to a, to a certain standard so that people are comfortable to go out in. are we actually ready to accept or uh, you know welcome the tourists that are there in terms of the infrastructure you're saying right there's always going to be a chicken and an egg situation i think one once the momentum starts building up what we call is something uh, as a snowball effect. So there are multiple things that we need to do to market, and there are multiple things that we need to do as a basic infrastructure. We can't wait for it to happen, because a lot of this tourism that starts to flow in will bring in the dollars to start funding what we need to do in the basic infrastructure side as well. So I think it's just about when the government says, let's go, we create Collabor positive collaborations where different organizations like ours which would have some sort of a commercial interest so that we sustainably keep on supporting things. Once we get the ball rolling, I think things start happening and we and I think that's this is the time where, where it seems like it started to roll. Is there something that uh, you think MNCs can play a more active role for? MNCs spend billions on advertising and advertising is a platform where you connecting with millennials, housewives, different types of target audiences. Uh, there's a huge case to be made for using advertising for, for a positive change in behavior. And I think there, there's a very dire need of responsible advertising in Pakistan. Uh, there's, there, there's different stuff. You can, you can sell something by communicating a good message or just by dancing around. So I think uh, the responsibility Responsible uh, lies, lies on us to make sure that we n we're not talking about philanthropy or social work. We're just basically talking about responsible advertising. That's something that connects very nicely with the millennials. Not only does it add um, a, a zing to your brand and the connection that they make with the brand, but also as an employer, it really helps to um, acquire and retain um, the, the millennials into the organization.